Hello and welcome back to Power Over Parkinson's Yoga. This is the second yoga class in the series. Today we're going to be working on building off of that first yoga class. Some things that will be useful for this practice are a yoga mat if you have one, yoga blocks, and a hamstring stretcher. If you don't have a hamstring stretcher, a towel or a sheet will be just as useful during this practice. We're going to start our practice crisscross applesauce focusing on our breathing we're going to put that yoga block underneath our tailbone to assist us sitting up nice and tall elongating our spine i'm going to turn to the side here just so you can get a better view you don't feel comfortable with the yoga block underneath your tailbone you don't have to use it sitting flat on the mat is just as perfectly fine so you can have your hands resting in your lap or on your knees we're going to inhale feeling the oxygen fill our lungs exhale feeling the oxygen leave feeling your chest rise and lower with each breath connecting our mind, our body. You can place your hands on your ribs and you can feel your lungs and ribs expand as you fill your lungs with oxygen and lower as you exhale. You can close your eyes, focus your mind. We're going to work on bringing our arms up overhead inhaling exhaling bring our arms back down inhale fill your lungs with oxygen exhale pushing that oxygen out of our lungs you can create lower smaller circles if you have difficulties with your shoulders looking to the ceiling will help bring your arms up overhead inhale fill your lungs with oxygen exhale push your arms down expelling that oxygen from your lungs inhale exhale the oxygen we're going to have our arms spread wide going lateral expanding our chest opening our hearts we're going to do that one more time feeling the oxygen fill your lungs expanding our chest Feeling a nice stretch, we're remembering to breathe. Inhaling, expanding our arms, exhaling, bringing them together. For our next exercise, we're gonna bring our arms up overhead, inhaling, pushing our arms down, bringing our hands together, palms facing us and rounding our back. We're gonna do this again, bringing our arms up overhead, Pushing the air back down, bringing our hands together, palms facing us, rounding our back out. Feeling a nice stretch. Inhale, bring our arms up overhead. Exhale, bringing our hands together, palms facing away from us this time as we round our back. Inhale, bring our arms up overhead, coming back down hands together palms facing away feeling a nice stretch trying to connect your mind and your body and your breath when you complete these movements you can go ahead and remove that yoga block we're going to stretch out our legs so we're going to do those rotations in our ankles remembering to breathe you need to lean up against a wall or sit in a chair that's perfectly fine going to switch into the opposite direction next thing we're going to do is extend and flex our feet like we're pressing on a gas pedal you can do them one at a time or both of them at the same time
Remembering to breathe. We're gonna go ahead and shake out our toes a little bit. We're gonna have you bring one knee up and then bring it back down, altering legs. Feeling a nice stretch in our hips. Bringing one knee up, bringing the other, and then flattening our legs. Remembering to breathe. Bringing both of our knees together, there's gonna to be a slight bent, and we're gonna do that windshield wiper motion feeling a nice stretch in our lower back. The deeper you bring your knees, the deeper the stretch, only go what feels as comfortable for you. Remembering to breathe through this motion. Gonna bring our legs back to crisscross applesauce. We're gonna twist. Feeling a nice stretch in our spine, turning our head, sitting up nice and tall. Gonna switch sides, remembering to breathe, filling our lungs with oxygen, exhaling through the movement, connecting our body with this movement and our breath. Gonna switch sides again. And again, we're gonna go back to the other side. Coming back to center here, we're gonna have our hands rested on our knees and do some trunk rotations, engaging our core, remembering to breathe through the exercise Inhaling and exhaling. You can complete little circles or big circles. Just remembering to engage that core. Remembering to breathe. Gonna go the opposite direction. Remembering to breathe through this exercise. Engage the core the mind, the body. I'm gonna come back to center here. Bring our arms up overhead, inhaling, exhaling, bringing our arms back down. We're gonna do some shoulder rolls, so they can be large shoulder rolls or small shoulder rolls. Bringing our shoulders forward, can have your hands resting on your knees. We're gonna switch and go backwards and do shoulder rolls. Remembering to breathe through this exercise. I'm gonna switch and go back forward. You should feel a nice stretch in our legs, our back, our hips, bringing our arms up overhead. And then we're gonna exhale, bring our arms back down. Next, we're gonna stretch out our neck by turning it to the side here. I'm gonna come to center and turn to the other side. Remembering to breathe, sitting up nice and tall. You can have your hands rested in your lap or on your knees. Turn back to the other side. And again, we're gonna switch back to the other side. Gonna come back to center and stretch out our neck on the other side again. Gonna bring our arms up overhead, inhaling, exhaling on the way down. 
We're going to continue to stretch our neck. The best way to describe this exercise is almost like you're spilling your armpit. So you're going to go ahead and look down to your armpit. Stretch out that portion of your neck here. And a switch. You're remembering to breathe through these exercises. And a switch again to the other side. Starting to loosen up all aspects of our body from our toes to our knees to our back. We're gonna go ahead and stand up here Gonna work on grounding our feet into the ground, feeling our toes against the mat, our big toe, our second toe, our third and fourth toe, and our fifth toe. Feeling the pressure in our toes, lifting our hands up overhead, inhaling on the way up, exhaling on the way down. Again, you can do the little suns if you have shoulder pain. Bringing our arms up overhead, exhaling, bringing our arms down. Inhale, bring our arms up overhead, exhale, bring our arms down. Inhale, exhale, pushing the air down. We're gonna do some slight rocking in our heels bringing our toes up. I'm going to move to the side here so you can see it. Raising up on our heels, and lifting our toes up. Again, you can use a wall or a chair to hold on to. And you can do this seated. I'm going to come back to center here, filling our lungs with oxygen expelling the oxygen from our lungs as we bring our arms down. I'm going to turn to the side here. We're going to go back into that chair pose. It's going to be a hinge in your hips and a slight bend in your knees. Your spine is going to be neutral. You can have your hands to heart center or holding on to a chair or a wall. I'm going to hold this here. Bring our arms up overhead, bringing them back down, filling our lungs with oxygen as we bring them up overhead, feeling the oxygen leave our body as we bring our arms back down, engaging our core, remembering to breathe through the movement. Go ahead and relax. We're going to shake out our hips. Gonna come back into that chair pose. Your spine's neutral, the hinge is at your hips, and there's a slight bend in your knees. You're either holding onto a chair or wall or your heart hands are heart center. Bring our arms up overhead, filling our lungs with oxygen, bringing them back down. Inhale, bring our arms up overhead. Exhale, bring our arms back down. Inhale, exhale, bringing that arms back down. Inhale, bring our arms up overhead. Exhale, bringing our arms back down. Remembering to breathe, engage your core. Go ahead and relax. Shake out your legs. Gonna do it one more time. Going back into chair pose, bring our arms up overhead, bring our arms back down, engaging your core. Connecting your mind, your breath, and your body with the movement. Go ahead and shake out your legs again. Next thing we're gonna do is go into that tree pose. So you can bring your heel up to your ankle in a kickstand. We're gonna rotate our hips, feeling a nice opening and stretch. You can hold onto a wall 
while you do it, or a chair. I'm gonna switch sides. Do a little kickstand of your heel. Bring your hands to heart center, holding onto a wall or a chair for stability. We're remembering to breathe through this exercise. Shake out your hips. We're gonna go ahead and do it again. Rotating that leg back and forth. Go ahead and switch sides. Remembering to breathe through this exercise, engaging your core. Switch sides again into that tree pose, bringing your leg up just a little bit further than the kickstand. If you need to continue doing the kickstand, you can. We're just not rotating our leg anymore. You can bring your hands to heart center, hold onto a wall or a chair. You can bring your foot all the way up. You do not want it resting on your knee. If you need more of a challenge, go ahead and shake out your hips. We're gonna switch sides. Again, you can start with the kickstand or bring your foot up around resting on your calf. Or you can bring it up over your knee for more of a challenge. You don't want it resting on your knee. Hands are heart center or holding onto the wall or a chair. Go ahead and shake out your legs. We're gonna switch sides again. Remembering to breathe, engage your core, focusing your mind and your body. Go ahead and switch sides. Go ahead and inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, pushing the oxygen out of our lungs. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, filling our lungs with oxygen. Exhale. Next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna go into that lunge position. One foot in front of the other, a slight bent in our knee. We're gonna go into warrior one. I'm gonna turn to the side here so you can see. Engaging our core, remembering to breathe. You can do this against the wall too. I'm gonna to go ahead and switch sides. Engaging our core, remembering to breathe through the movement. I'm gonna show you what it looks like against the wall. There can be a slight turn in that back foot. You can hold onto the wall, feeling a nice stretch. Go ahead and switch. Gonna do it one more side. Engaging our mind, our body, and our core. Bringing our arms up overhead. Exhaling, bringing our arms back down. Inhale, filling our lungs with oxygen. Exhale, pushing the oxygen out. Gonna go into our next pose of warrior two. Our heels should be aligned, the, the front foot facing forward, the back foot turned. 
going into a lunge pose with our arms extended, engaging our core, remembering to breathe. Going to go ahead and switch sides. Heels aligned. Going into the lunge, extending our arms into warrior two. I'm gonna show you what this looks like against the wall. You can use a chair or the wall for stability. It does not take away from the practice. You don't have to lift your back arm up if you need it for more support. I'm gonna go ahead and switch sides against the wall. Remembering to breathe through the exercise. Going to come back to center here, bring your arms up overhead, pushing the arms down. Inhale, fill our lungs with oxygen. Exhale, bring your arms back down. Going to go into what's called chaturanga. It's almost like a push up. Elbows are going to be close to our body, pushing into the wall, keeping a plank position when you're going into the push-up, breathing through the exercise. I'm going to show you what this looks like in a second when you're doing it on the mat if you need more of a challenge. You go into chaturanga, it's like a push-up position, keeping that plank position, going into cobra, pushing our heels back, going into downward dog. If the wall push-ups are too easy for you, you can incorporate that. So again, the plank position, upward into cobra, pushing our heels back, going into downward dog. Again, both options are both great for the body, so whatever works for you. And an inhale, filling our lungs with oxygen. Exhale, bringing our arms back down. Inhale. Exhale. Gonna come back into seated. We are gonna grab the hamstring stretcher or your towel or sheet. You wanna make sure it's across the body and part of your foot. We're gonna stretch out our legs here. Feeling a nice stretch in our calf muscle. You can bring your arms closer. Feeling a deeper stretch if you need to. I'm gonna switch legs. Switching legs again. Feeling a nice stretch in our calf muscles. Focusing our body, our breath, and our mind. I'm gonna switch to the other foot. Gonna put those strap around both feet here, making sure it's on top of the bony portion. Feeling a nice stretch in our back and our calves.
I'm gonna go ahead and turn to the side here so you can get a better angle. Pulling in. Feeling a nice stretch in our legs. Remembering to breathe through the exercise. Gonna go ahead and put the strap around one foot. We're gonna lay down when we do this. We're gonna use that boat pose to lower ourselves, engaging our core, expanding our chest. When we go back down, laying on the mat, grabbing our hamstring stretcher, and we're gonna put it around that one foot, flattening one leg, bringing the other leg up. If you need to have a slight bent in your knee in the opposite leg, that's perfectly fine. Feeling a nice stretch in our hamstrings. Gonna switch to the opposite leg. Bringing it up in the air, either keeping that other opposite leg bent or in a straight position. Gonna switch again. Remembering to breathe. Gonna go ahead and remove that strap and place it over to the side. Gonna grab our yoga block and put it between our knees. Gonna have our heels planted into the ground. Gonna go into that bridge pose, lifting our hips up off the floor. Remembering to inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down. If you need a challenge, you can lift your heels up. If not, you just keep your feet planted on the ground. Remember to engage your core as you lift your hips up. Go ahead and hold and release. Gonna hold the position, hold, engaging your core, remembering to breathe, release, bring your hips back down, gonna raise our hips back up, holding. And release. Inhale, bring our hips back up off the mat, holding the position. Exhale, bring our hips back down. Remove the yoga block. We're gonna go into our last pose of Savasana. So you can go ahead and flatten your legs, open your hands, relax your mind, you can close your eyes, thanking your body for this practice. Go ahead and wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, open your eyes, begin to wake yourself up. You can go ahead and bend your knees, 
and turn your hips to the side into a cradle position and go ahead and raise yourself up off the mat come back into crisscross applesauce you can bring your hands to heart center thank you for joining us today for power over parkinson's second yoga class